Okay, so it's new guitar day, and this is going to be the unboxing of a Stratocaster copy that costs $72 from glarymusic.com, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, they have a lot of really interesting instruments for sale at interesting prices. So the first thing I notice about this is that uh, the, the package appears to have been a little bit roughly treated, but I don't see any obvious damage. I don't see any holes in it or anything like that, so that's a good sign. So we'll go ahead and knife this baby up here and um, see what's in it. I'm going to have to go over here because I have a really jam-packed room. But, as you can see, they've just put three lines of packing tape here. We'll cut those real quick. Yada yada yada. Da, da, da. This one seems to be a little sticky. I hope I'm not cutting through something. Ha uh ha. -huh. You never know. With these packages. Now, there seems to be no other tape on this. So, I'm just going to try and use one hand to put this knife away and not kill myself. And then I'm going to lay this out right here like this. And I'm going to do like this. Let's take the box off and see what's in the deal. Okay, so we have a pretty standard deal here. They threw a gig bag in here, which is nice. I'm not the best videographer, excuse me. Uh, so we have a gig bag. It looks like a pretty standard like nylon type of it's a really thin gig bag, but it feels sturdy, so, you know, it'll do for the purpose of lugging around a cheaper, cheaper end guitar. We'll put that over there. And then we'll get to the real deal Holyfield here, which is, we'll, uh, put the, we'll try to get the elastic off here. Real quick snap. I can't keep the camera in focus on the guitar at the same time while handling it, unfortunately. I'm going to have to take off the plastic wrap here while y'all just watch the box. Or y'all just watch weird angles of the floor while I try to pull this thing out of its plastic. And what I see is looking good so far. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, that is really pretty. You see? That is really pretty. I will stick that back in the box right now and just give you a look at you look at what that is okay so that's like their lightning bolt design on there uh, I can't immediately tell if that's painted on to the finish or if that's a decal it looks like it's actually under the finish to me so you know what is its origin I'm not sure how they how they managed to finish it that way uh, but it's Really probably even better looking than I expected, I think. I do notice that I'm seeing kind of a high action right off the bat. I'm, I'm seeing that the action is high on the strings. Uh, let's see just how high. Right out of the box. Um, so we're looking at about this much action height right here. Which is, uh, you know, it's a little higher than what I like to see right off the bat. Um, but I'm pretty sure that can be easily taken care of. Uh, we'll have to do a check on the neck and everything and make sure it's straight. Um, you know, possibly turn the truss rod just a little bit. We might need to do that. So I'm going to pause and come back with a part two of this once I get this thing tuned up and the truss rod turned and the, everything adjusted and whatnot. 